Welcome to the 2021 U.S. Sailing Awards. My name is Rich Jepson, Board President of U.S. Sailing. Thank you all for tuning in to this virtual celebration. Today, we are honoring the service and accomplishments of the individuals and organizations who have made significant contributions to sailing in 2021. These awards recognize those who have improved our sport, the lives of sailors, and made sailing more accessible for all. Our event begins with the Adaptive Awards, followed by the Coaching, Community Sailing, and Training Awards. Enjoy. The Robbie Pierce Award is given to the sailing program for having made notable contributions to promote public access sailing for sailors with disabilities. My father, the late Robbie Pierce, was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1985 but he went on to win several national and world sailing events for sailors with disabilities. He also served as the chair of U.S. Sailing's Committee for Sailors with Disabilities, now known as the Parasailing Committee. Dedicated to improving access to community-based sailing venues, Dad played a major role in helping to develop and promote disabled sailing. To honor his legacy, this award was named in his memory. The YZ Adaptive Sailing Program at the YZ Community Sailing Center is led by Adaptive Sailing Director Ernest Brody. The program has provided a safe, enjoyable environment for people of all ages with cognitive disabilities and or physical needs and includes access for veterans. It has been active for 11 years and over 300 individuals have participated. Equipment for participants has been modified to accommodate physical limitations and their accompanying sailors or staff are highly skilled at sailing and assisting challenged individuals. Their training and sailing ex experiences are provided either free or at a low cost and ensure that everyone can experience the pleasure of feeling the wind and water interact with a sailboat. The YZ Yacht Club assists the program for providing discounted mooring fees for the YZ Adaptive Sailing Boats. It is now my pleasure, in honor of my father, to award the 2021 Robbie Pierce Award to YZ Adaptive Sailing. Representing YZ Adaptive Sailing is Director Ernest Brody. Hello, I'm Ernest Brody, Director of YZ Adaptive Sailing. Our mission is to extend the motto of sailing for everyone to people with disabilities. The Robbie Pierce Award is pre presented to a community sailing program which has made a significant effort to include people with disabilities in the sport of sailing. The YZ Adaptive Sailing Program seeks out people with disabilities who would otherwise not have an opportunity to experience the pleasures of sailing. This award is earned by volunteers instructors and assistants of YZ Adaptive Sailing. Our volunteers are people who love to sail. They love to sail so much that they want to share that love with others. They are the people who teach sailing to people with disabilities. But these volunteers are special because they have skills from their personal and professional lives. They apply these skills to help our clients enjoy gliding over the lake on a warm summer day <coughs> propelled by a gentle breeze. They are special ed teachers who know how to work with people with disabilities. They have boat repair and maintenance skills to keep our two sonars working. They are certified keelboat instructors who teach sailing to our clients. There are others who make special contributions we could not do without. They may be sonar sails or boat parts the John and Denise Graves Foundation, which pays for two accessible mooring spots where people with sail in wheelchairs can reach the boats. YZ Rotary has given us grants to adapt our boats. It all comes together to produce a program which is affordable for people with disabilities to enjoy the sport of sailing. The Robbie Pierce Award recognizes this amalgamation. We thank you for the honor. My name is Bill Lynn, and I'm honored to introduce this year's winner of U.S. Sailing's award, named in honor of my mother, Gay, for outstanding service to adaptive sailing. My mother was a force of nature. Her drive came from her innate dislike of being told that there was anything she couldn't do. 
She didn't grow up sailing, but she became an outstanding crew sailing with my dad in Stars in the 60s and 70s and Etchells in the 70s and 80s. They were a great team, and together they won more than their fair share of silver. She was also the executive secretary of the Etchells class for more than a decade, and she was one of the first women in the world to be named an international judge and an international umpire. While she spent years giving back to the sport she'd grown to love, it was after my father's passing that she dialed up her focus on helping the less fortunate get into sailboats. She moved to Newport and became deeply involved in the Special Olympics and adaptive sailing programs. With her unique combination of humor and straight talk, she inspired numerous sailors with mobility challenges to get back into sailboats, and adaptive and Paralympic sailing is better for her involvement. It's also better for the involvement of Ernest Brody from Wayzata, Minnesota. If you spent enough time around the sport of sailing, you might've been fortunate enough to come across a sailor who's focused on making other li others' lives better. Ernest is one of those. As fellow Wayzata Sailing Center board member, Eliane Sari describes him, quote, a kilt wearing ponytailed, salty, funny package of wisdom and wit, unquote. He spent six years helping his good friend and boat partner of 30 years, Bert Foster, with two Paralympic campaigns as the team's bosun. And after their unsuccessful bid in 2012, returned to Wayzata determined to create an adaptive sailing program to serve the Twin Cities area. With Bert's help, Ernest applied his natural gift for getting people to buy in and working closely with other organizations in the community, borrowing space, bartering for parts, writing grants and writing checks from his own account. He brought an adaptive sailing program to life at Wayzata Sailing Center that served over 80 people in 2019. To paraphrase Ellie again, Ernie charmed and inspired fellow sailors into a soul-filling use of their time and talent. He cobbled together the resources for community members living life differently abled and open to new experiences to own some equity and have some fun. With the right guidance and equipment, guests with disabilities could be participants, moving in harmony with the wind and water. I talked with Mr. Brody today, and he told me that none of it would have been possible without an army of passionate volunteers. And it's pretty clear that he's a person capable of inspiring volunteers to do great work. He's a respected sailor who's won his fair share of pickle dishes, but his true legacy is the program he's built and the lives he's touched. He told me his biggest problem is that the program doesn't have enough customers. So I hope that this award will result in a bit of publicity that will help raise awareness. On behalf of my family, I want to offer our, congratula our congratulations to Ernest Brody, this year's recipient of the Gay S. Lynn Award. Keep doing what you're doing, my friend. The world of adaptive sailing is better with you in it. It is truly an honor to be chosen to receive the Gay S. Lynn Memorial Trophy. I spent several years supporting a Paralympic sonar program. During that time, I spent, I became friends with many adaptive sailors. Some of their names are inscribed on this trophy. I know the advances they have made so people with disabilities can sail. They have made Paralympic and adaptive sailing exist. As I supported my team, I had opportunities to learn from them. In return, I was able to apply my knowledge and equipment to their success. I am privileged to count them among my friends. When I proposed an adaptive program to our board of directors, one of the directors objected saying, we don't have equipment for people with disabilities. We don't have disabled approved restrooms. We don't have ways to get them on and off the boat. I looked at him square in the eye and said, if we're going to call ourselves a community sailing center, we should act like one. I moved forward and found allies Courage County Rec Department helped me put together an evening for 15 disabled veterans. Recreational therapists at the VA set up sessions with their clients. A teacher brought me 25 blind and visually impaired students. I found that the vast majority of people with disabilities don't need special equipment. If they had a stroke or are autistic, they can walk to the boat. For those who need it, I figured out how to use the gin pole to hoist people into the boat. I attended activity fairs where I met people who were adventurous enough to want to go sailing. After one session, they were eager to come back for more. 
I organize sailors who are special ed teachers. They know how to work with people with disabilities. Over the years, I have built a cadre of 20 instructors and assistants. We can handle most disabilities, and we are learning about some we had never heard of. The Gay S. Lynn Trophy is a symbol of the pleasure I have brought to these people. Thank you for recognizing that. Hi, everyone. I'm Luther Carpenter. I'm the head coach of the U.S. Sailing Team. It's my pleasure today to uh, help announce the Developmental Coach of the Year Awards, as well as the National Coach of the Year Award. Of course, everyone knows that I'm uh, passionate about coaching, uh, which comes from uh, many, many years of uh, being around and observing and sailing with uh, many of the top sailors all over the world. Uh, I love to admire their skills, their traits, their talents. Uh, I love to interact with them. And uh, I basically like to steal their uh, skills and, uh, and share them with others. I think that uh, the Coach of the Year Awards uh, is a great time for all of us to reflect on uh, the level of coaching and the amount of coaching that's going on in the U.S. today. Uh, it's incredible how many programs there are across the country uh, and how many great coaches are working with so many athletes uh, to improve and to become great sailors. Um, I think that uh, it would be nice to, to even extend the, the amount of award, awards that we give and recognize so many of uh, the coaches out there that are doing great work. Today, we will focus on three coaches that have uh, been recognized for uh, their great work in 2021. We'll start off uh, with the first of two Developmental Coach of the Year awards. And the first award goes to Scott Lindley from the Fort Worth Boat Club. Scott's the junior director uh, of the Fort Worth Boat Club for the last nine years. Uh, usually works with a team uh, between 29 and 30 sailors in regular season and runs a summer program that has virtually 300 sailors. Uh, while also uh, man while managing the club, he also has a job as uh, co-director uh, of the Optimus Class Development Program. Here he uh, develops a strategy and schedule with all the other top coaches that's dedicated to the development of their team. Their team is uh, made up of 180 sailors that qualify uh, from multiple regions, 20 sailors per region. And they uh, train this group up so that they can perform well at top international regards. One of Scott's uh, challenges and uh, accomplishments of 2021 was to overcome the COVID uh, restrictions. Um, it wasn't possible to follow the normal training year uh, pattern and path. Uh, and so they were able to take fewer sailors, but tra uh, train more effectively, highlighting a few of the regions and dual tracking the top athletes with the local regional sailors that normally wouldn't get a chance to train with the top sailors. Um, you know, the other side of uh, uh, winning the uh, Co Developmental Coach of the Year Award is how did Scott progress as a coach uh, with his skills? Scott has always been an avid participation in the coaching symposiums, uh, is always looking to upskill uh, his knowledge and his techniques, and he's always a pleasure for me to interact with uh, in those environments. He's proud of uh, of uh, building the skills where he focused more on the mental approach for his young sailors. Uh, he wanted to help them get over anxiety and build confidence uh, on the race course. Um, he wanted to help them believe in themselves. Um, 
This approach uh, opened the door to improve training techniques and drills that he's using. Um, and, uh, and he also opened his mind to not just thinking within his own world of, uh, of what he can do and what he can develop, but really focused on learning from other coaches in the communities uh, and taking their uh, material and enhancing the experience for his athletes. So for Scott, congratulations on winning Developmental Coach of the Year. And uh, here's a few words from Scott. Hello, my name is Scott Lindley and I'm the Junior Sailing Director at Fort Worth Boat Club and the Co-National Director of the USOD Optimus Development Program. I'd like to thank US Sailing and those who nominated me for this award. It's really sweet to be recognized. And I think one of my biggest accomplishments this year has been helping manage the USOD Optimist Development Program. It's been a year of challenges due to COVID and you know, we've really managed to keep these kids practicing and training and we've held some amazing events over the past year that have really uh, benefited these young sailors. I think a real testament to this program and its success or how our kids are doing. Um, we just got back from the Bahamian Optimist Nationals uh, with 21 of our sailors, and uh, we finished first, second, third overall. Um, truly an amazing performance by our kids, all of them. Our sailors are learning sportsmanship, po positive mental approach to training, and we're providing with the performance skills to succeed. Um, it's truly an amazing program. Secondly, uh, I'm proud of how my home program at Fort Worth Boat Club is doing. Uh, our sailors have accomplished so much this year and they're, they're performing well at such a young age. Uh, it's truly amazing. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Fort Worth Boat Club and our Starboard Foundation for all the support they've given us. Um, there are no words for how much they've done for the Fort Worth Boat Club Junior Program. I'd like to uh, share this award with all the coaches out there who have been you know, working at hard to create sailors and encourage them to move on and up in the sport. Um, this award goes out to all you guys too. Um, there's so many great coaches out there. Lastly, I'd like to thank my beautiful wife, Celie, and my daughter, Caroline, for all their awesome support and understanding for what I do, um, they really sacrifice a ton for what I do with my job. Uh, thank you guys. And again, thank you everyone. This is such an honor and I am so appreciative and it means so much to me. Thank you. Our next award for Developmental Coach of the Year goes to Lior Lavi. Lior is a uh, coach uh, and a sailor who I met uh, in 2017, I believe, uh, who was young, uh, involved with the Optimist class and other, other classes, uh, came to our coaching symposium and uh, was on the edge of his seat and uh, really interactive, wanting to learn as much as he could to develop as a coach. So it's a pleasure to see him uh, years later uh, has bloomed into one of our country's uh, finest coaches. Uh, Lior worked with uh, the U.S. Sailing uh, Olympic Development Program this year, coaching the 49er and FX class. We also had him work with some other classes uh, when he was available. Uh, he was the head coach for LaSalle High School. He was the head coach for the Westminster High School. So he was... Uh, He's pretty busy. Um, he was a national coach at the World Championship for the I-420 class. Uh, he was USA team leader for the Optimus European Championships. Uh, and he worked extensively with the boat Dingback, Dingbat, which is a J-70 that has uh, been quite successful. Uh, all told, when I looked at uh, Lior's uh, year and his schedule and race results for his uh, exceptional athletes, 
uh, I believe they podiumed 12 times uh, over I-420 regattas, which were world championships in Italy, uh, youth championships, North Americans, midwinters, uh, you name it. Uh, he was there coaching. Um, I think that uh, we, we were hoping to work with Lior uh, for uh, this next year too, but uh, I believe he's now accepted a job in, uh, at Cornell University. Um, so, uh, but uh, we hope to continue to work with him in our community. So for Lior, congratulations for being developmental coach of the year. And now a few words from Lior. I'm Lior Levy. Associate Head Coach at Cornell University and the owner of Outfit Sailing. This award means a lot to me, but mainly it's the award goes to all the hardworking youth sailors in this country and the dedication they put, the hours, the hard work, and the commitment that they show every weekend and every event in regatta and clinic and training camp. I would not be doing what I'm doing if not for the dedicated athletes and sailors that are in this country. Winning last summer 420 World Championship, being part of the US I-420 coaching staff has been very meaningful to me because I used to sail the 420 boat as well as the, at youth and then in the 470 class in the Israeli Olympic team. And seeing those kids growing now and achieving their dreams through what we used to do as children is just satisfying and feels good so I want to thank all my hard working sailors and everyone who's supporting them of course my parents and just thank you for everyone who supported me and believed in the path I've been through here in the last nine years in Miami and everything that we've developed and accomplished together. Our last award goes to Charlie McKee for winning the National Coach of the Year Award. Charlie McKee had the unique uh, pleasure to start working with the U.S. Kite Foil Program. He helped plan and execute the formation of the Kite Foil Squad, including topics such as collaboration, technical information sharing, uh, creation uh, created a common calendar, uh, that the athletes and coaches could follow. Uh, in this new discipline, he had to create safety procedures that are unique to kiting and enable them to uh, train effectively uh, and learn efficiently, but also be safe. Um, and he also took this, uh, this slightly different discipline and integrated them into a group uh, of the broader U.S. sailing team. Charlie ran uh, seven domestic training camps in 21, 2021, from February to the end of the year. Uh, Charlie and a group of uh, kiters and radio sailors and other coaches uh, dual tracked the, in 2021 by going to Marseille, which is the 2024 Olympic uh, venue, and held a, uh, tr a scouting training camp. Um, in which uh, they had obviously effective training, but also took extensive notes and tracked the wind uh, and started off our new Paris quad with our foot in the door learning about the Marseille venue. Uh, Charlie also coached uh, the Kite Foil Europeans with Daniela Moraz and uh, Marcus Entrigan. Um, Daniela was successful in winning that event. Uh, and then about a month later in Italy, uh, Charlie coached a squad of five at the world championships and, uh, Daniela finished first in, uh, yet another, uh, kite foil world championships. So a very successful year for Charlie, uh, a very new class to our program. Uh, and off to a great start with uh, teaching uh, a completely new set of sailors what the Olympic world is all about, uh, putting them on the path to success in some areas that they really didn't even know were part of competitive sailing and a well-deserved award 
for a great job for National Coach of the Year. Congratulations, Charlie, and now a few words from him. Well, obviously it's a huge honor to be named 2021 National Coach of the Year. And you look back on what it is that we do as coaches, and it's just really gratifying to be involved in a project that uh, has helped people to move forward. So I got involved in the, uh, when that kiting group was starting to be integrated into the Olympic movement. So obviously that's a, a really cool and exciting time in our sport and for those athletes. And this truly is a situation where it's not about the coach or anything great I did or anything. It was, I was given the opportunity to be part of this journey with them while they do what they do, figure out what this means in relation to sort of coming into this different environment with all the other Olympic classes and being integrated with the sailing team. So uh, it's been a great journey so far and you know, I'm just really grateful to be a part of it. Hello, I'm Matthew Thompson, the chair of the Community Sailing Committee. I am honored to present the 2021 Community Sailing Awards. The Jim Kilroy Outstanding Outreach and Inclusion Award, named in honor of Mr. John B. Kilroy Sr., is given annually to a program director or program that has made notable contributions to promote public access sailing by expanding sailing opportunities for people in their communities that would normally have no access to the sport. The Community Sailing Center in Burlington, Vermont, has a tagline that inspires anyone who visits the beauty that is Lake Champlain. Lake access, life lessons for all. It truly embodies their work and more specifically the leadership of their executive director, Owen Milley. Owen has worked hard to be sure to deliver on diversity targets set by the organization. He immediately increased board minority membership to 18%, met with local organizations to determine the best course of action and to increase diversity among sailors in the area and created the diversity access initiative as a result. The diversity access initiative offers four weeks of sailing camp, including lunch and transportation stipends to 11 to 15 year old campers referred by community partners. Campers are invited back for the following three summers with the same support, while CSC welcomes a new cohort every year. In addition to this camper goal, Owen is hoping that participants will continue to be part of the sailing community and become junior instructors and staff. For his continuous effort to provide inclusive sailing opportunities to youth in his community, we are proud to present the 2021 Jim Kilroy Award for Outstanding Outreach and Inclusion to Owen Newman. So uh, in 2020, our board of directors went through the strategic planning process and they identified that addressing diversity and inclusion is a really important thing for the Sailing Center to take on. And they said to the staff, we want you to really address this. And that's really where the whole diversity scholarship access program started. So after conception, we took that idea and we brought it to a local organization called Trusted Community Voices because we really wanted to make sure that we were serving our BIPOC community. Less than a mile from our docks are some of the most racially diverse and socioeconomically disadvantaged neighborhoods in Vermont. And this was our way to reach those communities. Through Trusted Community Voices, we were able to have very successful outreach with associations of Africans living in Vermont and USCRI. And we were also able to communicate and promote in seven different languages, a number that we expect is gonna grow. And that's how we were able to get uh, 17 campers in the first year through the program, almost 40 weeks of sailing camp. The other kind of feedback that we got was that this commitment can't just be another one year program and now the family is incumbent on paying for this if their kids really love it. So creating this program is really about making it be a lifelong commitment. So as long as that child is interested in learning to sail, we will be there to support them in this program. Over a dozen of them are coming back uh, from one to four weeks of camp and the opportunity will each year grow as they move through the program, hopefully up through the junior instructor program and beyond. Every single one of our staff members were actively involved in making this program happen. It was a total group effort. We couldn't have done it without the support of U.S. Sailing. Thank you very much for this award. 
The Creative Innovations in Programming Award recognizes those programs or individuals who have successfully found new and different methods for teaching sailing. It's no secret that science and sailing make an excellent combination for you sailors. However, the way you package that experience requires skill, creativity, and an attention to inquiry-based learning. Pleasant Bay Community Boating's Sailing and Science Summer Camp has done just that on Cape Cod. Partnering with local organizations like MIT, the National Weather Service, Cape Cod Climate Change Collaborative, and the Center for Coastal Studies has enhanced their place-based marine science curricula. Partnerships require thoughtful outreach and staff time to integrate resources into existing camps, and Pleasant Bay Community Boating has done just that. In 2021, they added a new 37-foot-long solar pontoon vessel to their marine science program. Students can safely explore remote areas of the bay because of the shallow draft and quiet electric motor of this vessel. Finally, the vessel can accommodate larger groups of 29 passengers, including 10 wheelchairs. For their unique approach to science and sailing programming, we recognize Pleasant Bay Community Boating as the 2021 Creative Innovations in Programming Award recipient. Hi, I'm Mike Trevato, Executive Director of Pleasant Bay Community Boating. We are honored to be receiving this award, and I want to thank U.S. Sailing for recognizing PBCB's Sailing and Science Summer Camp Program, which pairs discovery science and exploration with sailing. This program allows students to spend half their day out on the water learning to sail and the other half learning marine science. A new addition to PBCB's fleet is our floating classroom, The Friend, a 37-foot solar-powered pontoon boat that is the flagship of our marine science education program. I'd like to introduce our program director, Allie Hogue, and science instructor, Taylor Ruggieri, to share more about the program. I think the science and the boating really go hand in hand. So it really is important to get the kids started young, becoming stewards for the environment because they're going to be boating someday. We can prevent erosion. And if somebody calls us and they're like, look, I'd really like to get my kid into camp, but I really can't afford it, then we have scholarships for that. <laughs> Watch what happens when the water leaves the cup and goes onto your structure, okay? What about over here? Did you guys have any successes over here? It went pretty well. We've covered everything from like weather to aquaculture to natural disasters, kind of anything under the sun with science, which has been kind of really fun. We try to get outside as much as possible and do a lot of hands-on stuff. Ready? Yay! That's how you end up with some invasive species. If you introduce something like a snake that has no natural predators on a given island, they can eat all of the native birds pretty quickly. Having the friend as part of the Kukram is a great opportunity for the kids. You know, we have, live in such a unique place down here on the Cape that it's definitely such a cool um, opportunity for them to be able to go out on the water and, you know, be doing science stuff while we're out there. Once again, we want to express our appreciation to U.S. Sailing for this very special recognition of our organization and this innovative program. The Excellence in Instruction Award recognizes an individual that has consistently demonstrated excellence in instructing, training, or making presentations at local, regional, or national seminars, conferences, or workshops. Dylan Guell has worked across the country in a variety of sailing programs from Seattle to Virginia. He has grown adult programs in many, his many roles and coached warrior sailing clinics for veterans who are wounded, ill, or injured. These are just a few of his strengths, but what really illustrates Dylan's dedication to teaching sailing is his inclusivity. He receives rave reviews from all his participants for being a welcoming and compassionate instructor, while placing others' needs ahead of his own, inviting input from the group and valuing their opinions. Dylan does it with ease. His passion for the sport comes through in his leadership style and his attention to those who he works with. For his continuous hard work teaching the sport of sailing, we recognize Dylan Guell as the 2021 recipient of the Excellence in Instruction Award. Hello everyone, my name is Dylan Guell and I'm the Sailing Program Coordinator here at Sailnauticus located in Norfolk, Virginia. I'm super happy to be receiving this year's 2021 Award for Excellence in Instruction. 2021 has been a crazy year for us all. I've been fortunate enough to work at two incredible community sailing centers, Community Sailing New Orleans and Sailnauticus. At Community Sailing New Orleans, I was able to help build and lead their summer camp programs. I was also had the great opportunity of serving wounded service members and veterans through Warrior Sailing. Now, 
Here at Salonauticus, I get to serve Norfolk Public School students through our free after-school program called the Academy. These middle school students learn communication, leadership, and teamwork skills all through sailing, and I get to have a blast the entire time. My passion is sailing, and having the chance to watch someone's eyes light up as they find that same passion is one of the greatest joys of my life. Community sailing centers are one of the most important way that we connect our local communities to sailing. They provide a place for anyone, regardless of background, to grow and discover a new passion. So I have to give a big shout out to all the amazing and sailing instructors out there. We have the important job of keeping the passion for sailing alive. Finally, I'd like to thank my mentor, Jacob Raymond. Jacob always leads by example, goes the extra mile, and is one of the most encouraging people I know. I wouldn't be where I am without him. So, thanks so much, Jacob, and thanks so much, U.S. Sailing. The hallmarks of a superior volunteer include a person who devotes a huge portion of their time and energy to a cause, has a wide knowledge of people and programs related to the cause, and a personality that drives people to participate in the cause. Sail Chicago is an entirely volunteer-run organization on the shores of Lake Michigan. Monte Lewis has been a tireless and enthusiastic volunteer and member of Sail Chicago for many years. As coordinator for the Basic Keelboat Instructor Initiative, with the goal to support volunteer instructors in becoming U.S. Sailing Basic Keelboat Instructors, Monte has encouraged, coached, and mentored nearly 20 of the Sail Chicago volunteers to obtain this certification. He does this by leading extra seminars on and off the water to prepare candidates for the course, knowing that they have limited time and benefit from the extra support. Monte approaches his training with a smile and infectious optimism, creating incentive for the volunteers to continue their training and involvement with U.S. Sailing. He makes the experience fun and inviting, designing gear for the volunteers so they feel part of the team. Most recently, Monte has established a partnership with the Jackson Park Yacht Club, increasing communication and collaboration among local sailing centers and clubs. For his exemplary service and bright outlook in the sport of sailing, we recognize Monte Lewis as the 2021 Volunteer of the Year. Hi, I'm Monte Lewis and I'm from Chicago and I'm an instructor volunteer at Sail Chicago a U.S. sailing, community-based sailing club. We're an all-volunteer, member-driven, nonprofit sailing club, and I'm surprised and delighted to receive this award because at Sail Chicago, we're all volunteers. I remember my first sail at 10 years old. Mom and Dad uh, went out sailing with their friends Dick and Claire, went on Dick and Claire's boat, and he put me to work right away snapping the hasp of the jib onto the forestay and pulling on a jib halyard for the, and raising my first sail for the very first time. He taught me to uh, set sail and hold course and put my hands on the helm. And he ruined me for life as I felt the wind fill the sail and the helm in my hand as our boat ran through the water. This year, we added a new program at Sail Chicago, our Community Sailing Outing, CSO, where we invite non-sailors to join us for a sail out on Lake Michigan. It was a perfect day. The wind was out of the north at 10 to 15 knots, and it was also the same weekend as the Chicago's Air and Water Show. We had the best view of the Blue Angels flying overhead. Just as we finished our sail, and we were tying up at the mooring can, waiting for the tender service to pick us up, it started to rain. My buddy Dan pulled out his rainfly tarp out of his sail bag and we threw it over the boom and everybody held on to it in the corners. We ended our sail with a fun debrief under our makeshift tent as we waited for the tender service to come pick us up. I want to thank Dick and Claire for taking me out on my very first sail when I was 10 years old. I want to thank John Lemon, one of my first instructors who said to me, Monty, you're pretty good at this. You should consider joining our instructor team. And of course, I want to thank Matt Stasinski, our lead instructor, who's been my personal friend and mentor these last couple of years. And of course, much thanks goes to my wife, Kathy, who supports me in pursuing all of my passions. I hope all of you will go out there and ruin somebody's life as I've made it my mission to do so. Go and put them to work, teach them to set sail and hold course and put their hands on the helm and they will fall in love with the magic 
and the majesty of going sailing. On behalf of all the volunteers at Sail Chicago, I thank you for this award. I'll see you on the water. The more than 10 years of Hallmark Performance Award is given annually to a program that has a track record of providing sailing education, training, and public access to their community. Sheridan Shore Sailing School in Wilmette, Illinois, has been providing exceptional instruction, an extraordinary sense of community, and passion for the sailing for many decades. They offer youth sailing for competitive and non-competitive sailors with opportunities for scholarships, making their program accessible to all members of their community. They host high school sailing teams, adaptive sailing, and even offer adult sailing classes. Sheridan Shore features a low student to instructor ratio to ensure quality programming. In 2019, they became an accredited U.S. Sailing Community Sailing Center, demonstrating their commitment to high quality public access sailing with top notch instructional materials and safety best practices. The Community Sailing Committee recognizes Sheridan Shore Sailing School for over 10 years of Hallmark performance. Hello, my name is John Keener, and I am the interim director at Sheridan Shore Sailing School located just north of Chicago at the Wilmette Harbor Club. We are pleased and grateful to receive the more than 10 years of Hallmark and Performance Award from U.S. Sailing. This is a great honor for the entire community at Sheridan Shore. In 2014, we became an accredited U.S. Sailing Community Center. In those years, we have grown from a few hundred sailors per year to nearly a thousand. In 2019, we became a U.S. Sailing Siebel Center and are grateful to the generosity of the Siebel family, which has allowed this program to thrive and grow. Thank you very much to our board members, generous donors, volunteers, and staff. Because of them, we've been able to grow consistently over the years. Of course, we would not be here if not for the sailors of all ages who have chosen us to help them on their sailing journey. We would especially like to thank the parents of our junior and high school sailors who have dedicated their time and treasure to help make Sheridan Shore what it is today. Thank you to all the members and staff at the Wilmette Harbor Club, which has been home to the school for over 80 years. Finally, thank you to U.S. Sailing for this award and your continued support. The Outstanding Program Director Award recognizes an individual who has had significant impact on their organization by empowering staff to reach their greatest potential, providing a safe environment, offering creative programs for all members of the community, and demonstrating excellent leadership. The Almeida Community Sailing Center is located within a small island community in San Francisco Bay. Their program director is a dedicated community member who has made a huge impact on the culture of the organization and on everyone who has had the pleasure of walking through their gaze. She has supported new efforts to improve the quality of instruction by embracing course and trainings such as the safe powerboat handling, STEM education activities, and social emotional learning techniques. She has graciously hosted these courses, which require staff time, resources, and collaboration with U.S. Sailing. Emily Zignoni's stewardship of sail training in her community is impressive and admirable. Recently, Emily has created a single gender program for girls, which doesn't fail to sell out each year. She weaves sailing instruction, STEM, and leadership into a session that fosters a camaraderie among the students. She has also volunteered her time and energy to the Community Sailing Committee, working towards improving resources for centers across the country. Congratulations to Emily Zignoni, the recipient of the 2021 Outstanding Program Director Award. Hi, I'm Emily Zignoni, Program Director at Alameda Community Sailing Center, ACSC. I am so honored to be this year's recipient of the Outstanding Program Director Award. This means a lot to me personally and to our organization as this is our first Community Sailing Award. I've looked to the previous recipients with so much admiration and gotten so much inspiration from other programs doing amazing work. So to now be recognized for my own work is very humbling. Thank you. At ACSC, our mission is to provide opportunities to participate in sailing on San Francisco Bay through access and education. We've had a lot of fun and success fulfilling this mission and I haven't done it alone. We have amazing, dedicated, supportive board members, volunteers. We have the most fun and caring teaching staff, and we have an awesome community to serve. It's really important to us to bring non-traditional sailors into the sport. So our participants demonstrate a lot of courage and trust to get out there and splash around on the bay. And I'm so grateful for our community here 
and also for the U.S. sailing community. My growth as a program director has been supported by U.S. Sailing's trainings, teaching resources, networking opportunities, all of it. It's been so helpful. And especially now that we are a Siebel Sailors program, we feel so much support. So thank you, U.S. Sailing and the Community Sailing Committee. The Outstanding Organizational Leader Award honors an exceptional individual who has made notable contributions to an organization which has resulted in membership growth, positive financial development, and increased community awareness and integration. The recipient of this award is a true ambassador for community sailing with proven leadership outside of their organization, demonstrating the ability to work across traditional boundaries to advance community and social issues. For nearly 10 years, Robert Burke has led Hudson River Community Sailing as its executive director delivering on their mission to develop leadership and academic success in underserved New York City youth through sailing education and providing maritime education and recreation to the community at large. During his time at HRCS, he has doubled the staff, membership, and programming while tripling the fleet of boats at the organization. New programs with veterans, adaptive sailors, and women mentors have been added to the vast offerings at HRCS under his leadership. Robert is a visionary leader and a hands-on director, regularly taking out new members on Sunday afternoons or leading students in the Explorers Group on weekend trips. We are pleased to present Robert Burke with the 2021 Outstanding Organizational Leader Award. Hey everyone, I'm, my name is Robert Burke and I'm from HRCS, that's a River Community Sailing, and I'm really proud to accept the Organizational Leadership Award. HRCS has two major areas of work, Sail Academy, it's our youth program that works year-round with kids from middle and high schools in New York City and really gives them a space to thrive. Uh, we give them workplace training and college access and STEM education and a, a really good space to, to grow. And then that's wrapped around with our community sailing program uh, where we bring members and we do weekend lessons and instruction. We have a vets program, an adaptive program, and a summer camp. But I think the key to HRCS's success has been Everyone has this real uh, ethic of service, and we really tap into a talented and passionate group of staff and members and volunteers um, to make it all happen. So it's allowed us to grow in the past decade, um, and I think this this award really represents that growth and, and all the people who contributed to it. So come pay us a visit, come sail in New York Harbor, and thank you again for honoring us with this award. Martin A. Loray was perhaps best known as a sail magazine editor. He was, to be sure, better known as a journalist than as a sailor. Yet in his role as journalist, he was a staunch advocate and courageous promoter of public access sailing. Marty distinguished himself as an oracle of a new age in the ancient pastime of yachting. Time and time again, he used the power of the press to herald the arrival of community sailing. Time and again, he shared his expertise in the early years of community sailing conferences. The Marty is presented annually to a deserving recipient who has made an outstanding and unselfish contribution to further public access sailing. The Marty is Community Sailing's highest honor. It is with my great pleasure to announce that this year's Marty A. Loray Award goes to John Mannard, founder and president of the Board of Directors at Community Sailing New Orleans. For many years, John witnessed not everyone in New Orleans had the same opportunity to enjoy sailing Lake Pontchartrain as his family did. Post Hurricane Katrina, John played a vital role in helping the lakefront area rebuild, and he was determined to ensure there was an access point to Lake Pontchartrain for everyone. This led to over a decade of relentless hard work in creating community sailing in New Orleans to help eliminate any social, economic, and physical barrier to sailing on the lake. John's determination has led to the construction of a 12,000 square foot lakefront campus with a fleet of 55 boats. He's helped create a place that celebrates diversity and inclusiveness, a place where people from all paths of life and abilities can share influential moments on the water, making connections and creating deep bonds over a shared passion. His leadership of Community Sailing New Orleans has given future generations an equal footing to enjoy the sport of sailing. John is a person of great integrity, devotion, and steadfast in the mission and values of Community Sailing New Orleans to make sailing accessible to all. It is with great honor and great personal admiration on behalf of U.S. Sailing's Community Sailing Committee 
to present the Marty Aylore Award to John Mannard. Hi, I'm John Mannard, and I'm talking to you today from Community Sailing in New Orleans. And let me begin by saying how honored I am uh, to be uh, presented with this wonderful award uh, by uh, U.S. Sailing and the um, and the Community Sailing Committee. Uh, it came as a, a wonderful surprise. I really appreciate it and will always treasure the, the beautiful award that comes with it. Uh, let me mention as uh, at the outset here though what the, the real mission of uh, Community Sailing New Orleans is, as it is with so many community sailing centers across the country. Uh, we put this together to right a fundamental unfairness in our community and that centered on uh, the fact that only a tiny fraction of the community had really had any access to sailing or all of the benefits uh, it brought to the rest of us as uh, we raised our families and as we as we grew up and so in our community that meant expanding those opportunities to these groups, uh, inner city school kids, their families, people with disabilities, women and girls. Uh, we've been at it for 13 years and now we're up and running, pandemic notwithstanding, and, uh, and serving those groups, more and more people all the time. But as so often happens, uh, the person who gets to take the bow and walk home with the award is not necessarily the person who really deserves the credit. Uh, and in this instance, that's definitely true. And interestingly, the people who really deserve the credit are those who are, act, are handing me this award. Uh, it's the Community Sailing uh, Committee and U.S. Sailing and all of the community and adaptive sailing centers around the country. And the reason I say that is because you all developed uh, uh, the tools, the structure, and most importantly, the culture of sharing that allowed even somebody like me to accumulate the tools uh, to build a plan upon which this enterprise uh, could be founded. And that was important because armed with a good plan, which I got from you, we were able to assemble an extraordinary board some enormously generous donors, and hire an executive director who won this very award in 2016. Each of those people came to this because they're good people, but they were able to become very involved and make great contributions because it was a sound plan. And the reason it was a sound plan was because of you. So in closing, let me end where I began, which is to thank you very much for this wonderful award, but also to congratulate you on what you have done, giving us the opportunity to do this together with uh, people all over the country to whom you have accorded the same opportunity. You have done a lot to help an awful lot of people around the country live better lives and enjoy themselves greatly. Take care. Next up, we'll be honoring the 2021 Training Award recipients. Hello, my name is Stu Gilfillan, and I'm the Director of Education for U.S. Sailing. On behalf of U.S. Sailing's Education Committee, it's my honor to recognize the winners of the 2021 Training and Education Awards. Today, I'll be presenting three awards. Each award is named in honor of someone who's made or continues to make an indelible mark on the boating community. These award namesakes are legends in our sport, and without them, boating education would not be what it is today. Thankfully, this year's recipients are people who honor the legacies of those namesakes through their passion, dedication, and selflessness. These individuals are teachers, educators, instructors, communicators, and leaders who are constantly driven to help make our sport and the people in it better. They seek out ways to offer inclusion and connections, and their energy is infectious. So with that said, let's meet them. The first award is the Sail Training Service and Support Award in honor of Virginia Long, or the Ginny as it's more commonly known. This award honors an individual who, through their efforts, unselfishly assists and enables a sailing program or sailing instruction in a supportive role. 
Recipients of this award are those whose outstanding efforts enable and support excellence and safety in sailing instruction in or programs, but may not necessarily teach themselves. In a day and age where regional connections are of paramount importance, this year's recipient sets the standard. As U.S. Sailing's Regional Training Coordinator for Area D, she's also been a staunch advocate of U.S. Sailing's programs, encouraging both clubs and organizations from across the region to send their instructors to sailing and powerboating instructor courses held by U.S. Sailing. She sends out regular emails to the region, highlighting opportunities for education and encouraging participation in both local and national events. She is an outstanding resource and one that I constantly find myself sending people to if they have questions about really any topic, from volunteering to grant writing to event management. Simply put, she is remarkable. In addition to being the regional training coordinator for her area, she is also the linchpin behind the very successful and U.S. Sailing accredited Edison Sailing Center along with her husband, Ross. The Sailing Center maintains 250 plus boats for instruction and racing, and under her leadership, the Edison Sailing Center has worked tirelessly to bring sailing to children who might otherwise not have had the opportunity to try it. They operate on funds from summer programs and donations, but I've also heard a remark on more than one occasion that no child will ever be turned away because of an inability to pay. On top of that, she is a driving force in the Florida Sailing Association, helping bring together clubs from across the region. In 2021, the Florida Sailing Association provided 13 youth regatta grant reimbursements, totaling $1,190 to six member clubs and a $300 training grant stipend to one member club. They also de began to develop a Tuesday topic series, which is a monthly 45 minute virtual knowledge sharing session. In every facet of what she does, Stephanie Webb strives to connect, educate and empower. The manner in which she selflessly gives her time and energy has had a huge impact both on her own program and the region she represents. For these reasons, and many more, I'm pleased to present Stephanie Webb with the 2021 Sail Training Service and Support Award in honor of Virginia Long. Hi, I'm Stephanie Webb from the Edison Sailing Center in Fort Myers. I would start today's communication by just saying ahoy to the region. This is what organizations throughout Florida are used to hearing us say when we're communicating updates, sharing training opportunities, or ideas for collaborations. Gandhi said it best when asked after working for more than 50 years, 15 hours a day, whether or not he didn't deserve a vacation. Gandhi simply replied that he was always on vacation. And this is exactly how I view each day because supporting training Networking, both ideas and people, can only spread this wonderful contagion that we know is sailing. To be the recipient of the 2021 Virginia Long Sail Training Service and Support Award is extremely humbling when I consider previous recipients, especially mentor and friend Dick Alsop and Jenny Long herself. Having worked with Jenny years ago, our Sailing Center values the, the course that she navigated for those who would follow. Whether it's e-blasting the region, working with FSA leadership team and our sister RSAs in Area D, or supporting clubs and sailors, every day is like the old e-ticket on Disney. So thank you to the Community Sailing Committee, the Training Committee, colleagues across the United States Sailing Platform, to our Sailing Center, and especially my family. This is indeed an honor, and I look forward to celebrating with everyone at a future forum in SPS or on one of our Tuesday topics. Thank you. The next award is the Captain Joe Prosser Award for Excellence in Sailing Instruction, which was created to recognize the life achievement of Merchant Marine Academy's first sailing master, Captain C.A. Joe Prosser. Nominees for this award should be members of U.S. Sailing and maybe professionals in the field of sailing instruction. This year's award goes out to an organization that was founded in 2012 by a group of sailors who realized that a sailboat is an excellent classroom and that sailing is a practical way to reinforce all kinds of learning. Putting this realization into action, they created hands-on programs that are built around water-related activities and they engage students in a practical approach to learning. They strongly believe that finances as well as physical and cognitive abilities should never be a barrier to developing an affinity for the sea. 
Located in the Chesapeake Bay when working out of Baltimore, they instill an affinity for the sea in all that they do. The organization is based on five main pillars, respect, integrity, vision, education, and responsibility. These five pillars are at the center of everything they do and the manner in which they deliver all of their instruction and experiences. This year's winner is Sea Affinity, a program founded by Steve Maddox, who is himself no stranger to U.S. sailing, having won both the Virginia Long and the Timothy Alar Awards. He's also a key member of both the Education Committee and National Faculty, and a U.S. Power Boating Master Instructor Trainer, among a variety of other certifications that he holds. Through his work with Sea Affinity, Steve is constantly striving to introduce sailing to new audiences and providing opportunities to under-resourced populations. Sea Affinity's outreach program runs throughout the year in partnership with local community organizations. Many of the students that participate in their outreach programs test very poorly in standardized testing. Sea Affinity's hands-on programs not only help develop the necessary math, science, and reading skills that students need, but it also helps students understand the need for these skills. They're able to open the doors of opportunity to careers in science, engineering, and technology. Additionally, they incorporate three forms of testing to monitor student performance and program effectiveness. At the beginning of the program, students complete a learning skills and education preference self-assessment and take a knowledge test. Throughout the program, instructors evaluate the student's performance and interaction. At the end of the program, students again complete the self-assessment and take the knowledge test. They compile this data to make sure that they are meeting the student's needs. The impact that Sea Affinity is having in their community can't be understated. And it's for this reason that I'm pleased to present this year's Prosser Award to Steve Maddox and Sea Affinity. I'm Steve Maddox, and I have to admit that I was a little shocked and surprised when I was notified that Sea Affinity had been named the 2021 recipient of the Captain Joe Prosser Award. Sea Affinity is a small nonprofit and we are honored to receive what I consider a very high level award. I believe that because we are small, we have even more responsibility to maintain the characteristics that are embodied by the spirit of the award, honor, integrity, and dedication to sailing. And I think that because we're small, we're also more easily able to maintain those. We have the ability to develop personal relationships with our participants, and that plays a big part in our outreach program, where we get to teach the science behind the sailing in a fun, hands-on way. Students get to see the practical side of the math and science they're learning in the classroom. Recovering addicts get to take control of the boat and see firsthand the analogy of taking control of their lives no matter what condition life sends their way. Novices, as well as experienced sailors, get to learn and develop their skills in a safe, comfortable, but responsive boat. And veterans, with their service dogs, get to expand their horizons as they learn to sail for sport, as part of therapy, or even as recreation. And sometimes, the service dog seems to enjoy it every bit as much as the partner. This is the case with Izzy, who now has permission to run down the dock and jump on the boat as her partner makes his way to his lesson. As I said, we receive as much benefit from our programs as our participants do. And so, on behalf of Sea Affinity and our participants, I say thank you. The last award that I'll be presenting is the Timothy Alar Award, which recognizes a person whose vision and guidance have made an outstanding contribution to the advancement of sailor education in the United States. The award may be given to an individual who, in the opinion of the selection team, fully meets the criteria. This trophy is education's highest honor, and the recipient embodies the characteristics of the award's namesake, honor, integrity, and selfless dedication to the sport. This year's recipient has made numerous contributions to U.S. Sailing's educational programs over her decades of involvement with U.S. Sailing. A member of the Education Committee and National Faculty, she has worked tirelessly to bring the small boat program into the 21st century, while also serving as a small boat master instructor trainer. She has certified hundreds of instructors and instructor trainers, 
and presented on a multitude of topics at both national and regional sailing program symposiums, sharing her vast experience as a program director and instructor trainer. Her commitment to U.S. sailing, her dedication to training instructors, and her consistent commitment to excellence make her a worthy candidate of this prestigious award. Additionally, she's had a huge impact at the local level. In 2018, she was awarded Voter of the Year by the Rhode Island Marine Trades Association, and Windcheck Magazine noted that she's been part of a team that developed Sail Newport into one of the world's premier sailing centers. At Sail Newport, she trains and manages a team of instructors, develops course curriculum, and has played a central role in creating a groundbreaking experiential educational program where all fourth graders in Newport Public Schools will learn to sail. She's also been a member of the Narragansett Bay Yachting Association Junior Sailing Committee for decades, ensuring instructors on the bay are certified and spending her own time planning training and youth regatta schedules. It is for all of these reasons and more that it's my absolute pleasure to present the 2021 Timothy Alar Trophy to Kim Hapkin. No, well, I th would like to thank U.S. Sailing and uh, the nominator and the uh, selection committee for this um, tremendous honor. I, I feel uh, a little humbled because I, I know the legions of uh, winners who've come before me, and it is an impressive uh, group, and I, I really am honored to be able to stand alongside them. Um, I think uh, we share in common a desire to um, foster this sport um, and make it safe and accessible for so many and as safe as possible um, and uh, it is while it's a, a job for me in so many ways at the same time I think uh, as most sailors will say um, it, it's something we enjoy doing immensely um, and we derive a, a tremendous amount of uh, enjoyment from sharing that whether it's with instructors um, coaches uh, and uh, sort of fellow professionals in the sport. So thank you all. Thank you for joining us today for our virtual awards ceremony and congratulations to all of the winners. If you know someone who is a deserving recipient of an award, please make sure to nominate them at ussailing.org slash about slash awards.